Eben Baer is the portrait of the young, idealistic entrepreneur. Here you go, Bill. EcoCradle is the world's first sustainable alternative to styrofoam packaging. On Planet Forward, Baer talked about his big idea, which he developed as an undergrad studying mechanical engineering. EcoCradle can be made into almost any shape you can imagine and offers the same thermal and physical protection. Bayer thinks he can transform an industry, reduce energy consumption, and make money. Instead of using petroleum, Bayer's company uses agricultural waste. We wanted to see for ourselves, could this really mushroom into a business that could make a difference? We've got our product inventory over here. So we visited the plant outside Albany, New York, and Eben Bayer showed us around. Our business model is to transform these low-value wastes into something with value. We do that by binding them together and adding a shape. They mix seed husks with a cultured fungus and pour it all into molds. It's literally, it's self-assembling. You mix these mushroom roots, mm -hmm. mycelium, right, mm -hmm. with these seed husks, and the mushroom roots grow around the seed husks and, uh, husks and bind it like a glue. Exactly. All right, so it's spongy and it's cold. Yeah. It's alive. Yeah. Ah! What, what have I done? The end product, packing materials. It smells like you're baking bread. Used to ship everything from keyboards to couches. Yeah, you'd have, you'd have two of them just like this. The secret sauce, the natural glue-like substance from fungus called mycelium, is highly adaptable. College classmate and co-founder Gavin McIntyre took us into the lab. Anything I shouldn't be breathing or doing here? No, really we're wearing these garments in order to protect the fungus. Oh, they're, they're more important than us. we are. <laughs> Not to protect us from the fungus. We've gone out into nature and we've isolated our own types of fungi colonization or growth rate is really important to us. This idea, like so many, is built on risk, research, and passion. I wanted to create something that had radically less energy per unit volume than plastic. Because the biggest drawback with plastic is it takes so much energy to make and takes so long to get rid of. And this has a, a fraction of the energy, requires waste feedstocks, and has no negative impact on the planet when you dispose of it. How long does it take to decompose? Anywhere from 30 to 90 days. I can hold it with my hand. Bear like demonstrates one of the product's biggest advantages. You know, just charge. And that's just a natural property of the rice husk. See, has very little heat resistance. Bear estimates polystyrene used in everything from packing materials to surfboards and coffee cups is a $20 billion a year industry. His business plan, ramp up this facility. Hey, you look like you're on track for your timeline. Oh, open a much bigger one in the next 18 to 36 months and do a lot of licensing. So if you're successful and your vision comes to pass, 10 years from now, what's the world look like? A significant amount of disposable packaging is made using natural solutions like this. Uh, we think we can do all the styrofoam that's used for heavy goods. You're going to put styrofoam out of business. Is that yeah. what your objective that, that's is? That's one of our visions, is get rid of the toxic white stuff. At this stage, the business has a lot to prove before turning a profit. But Bear says his product is cost competitive and is gaining customers. He exudes confidence and determination. After all, this innovator is just 26 years old. How can bioproducts like Eco Cradle have an impact? What other types of materials can they replace? We're looking for your ideas, experiences, innovations, voices, and videos. It's actually made out of nature's packaging. At planetforward.org. I'm Frank Sesno.